You ever been impatient because you simply don't see the results that you're trying to achieve, that you're trying to get? Like you feel like you're just again spinning your wheels, you're doing what you believe is right. Like you're, you're taking the actions, you're putting in the time, you're sacrificing the weekends, you're making those extra calls, you're staying extra late, but yet you just can't manifest the results that you believe all these actions are just supposed to deliver. And I think that number one, one of the hardest reasons uh, uh, by people simply do not go to the gym or don't attempt to lose weight is because the daunting task of getting it, getting it going, right? It's just getting the wheels turning, so to speak, and building that momentum. Well, the same challenge is very similar to us when we take all these actions, we go through a week or two weeks or a month or a couple months, and we're just steadily hitting it, right? Where we, we're doing everything that we're told, we're doing everything that we see all the winners do, but we simply are not getting the traction. We're not getting the results that we ideally believe we should be getting at this point in time of our sacrifice or the time that we're putting in. And so if this rings true and you found yourself in that position where you're just like, man, this is taking forever. And then you start looking inward, like you start believing it's just, it's fate, <laughs> right? Like, oh man, maybe this thing just isn't meant to be. Maybe I should go find something else or maybe I should just quit. And then ultimately what happens is it fades out. It just becomes that one thing that you used to do or that one plan that you used to have, right? And, and, and it just becomes a memory. And then later on in the future, when someone else reminds you of that, of that one goal that you had, because they reminded you because they're doing it or they achieved it or they are finding success in it, then it becomes that one story like, oh yeah, I used to do that, but then I stopped. <laughs> right? you, I, maybe you've heard people who said that, right? Like, oh yeah, I tried that out, but it just wasn't for me. Or yeah, I, I dabbled in it a little bit, but then I just got too busy. I didn't have time. You ever hear that from people? Or worse yet, have you ever said that to people? I ain't the tallest, I ain't the strongest, I ain't the biggest, I ain't the boldest, I ain't the hottest, I ain't the richest. It's one thing about the motherfucker tables, man, they always fucking turn. In this episode, I'm gonna share a few things with you of what has helped me <clears throat> gain traction, has gotten some sort of momentum because that's ultimately what you need is you just need to get it going. And, and sometimes we can't even start, let alone get to a point where we're already started and we've already put in the time, the effort, the actions, and we're not getting the return that we believe we deserve. One of the hardest challenges is just starting it, is just taking the first step. And so I want to share with you a few things that has helped me because what I believe the main reason why a lot of people don't achieve or reach or succeed or, or continue staying persistent is because there is a, an unequal balance of planning and doing. So you have to find a, a good balance of planning and doing because if you plan too much, you never do, right? But if you don't plan and you do too much, then you, it's, just, it's just as bad, right? It just means that you're just taking action. That's when you get the feeling of, man, I'm just, I'm taking all these actions, but nothing's happening. And so let me give you an example because I know a lot of people here is in sales. A lot of, a lot of us, when we first get into sales or probably even currently right now, we are, are playing this numbers game that used to work or is recommended Right? It may have worked once and you believe that it's science, so it's got to work again. And you know that you're playing the numbers game because you're just taking the actions as kind of like a to-do list. And so on your to-do list, you got to make 50 outbound calls. And so you just randomly dial 50 outbound calls. And then you move on to the next and then you do 15 follow-up calls. So then you're just doing random follow-up calls because it's on the to-do list. So you're doing everything, but it's not planned well right so for example if you had to do 50 outbound calls who are you calling <laughs> because if you have some sort of research on this person or you have some sort of data where you can adapt your opening line to or your message or your script to you will be more effective with whomever you call and so now it's it goes it goes from a blind call to hey my name is Daniel I'm a salesman with this great company I was wondering if you blah 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 right 
it goes from that blind call to, hey, this is Daniel with New American Funding. Hey, I was giving you a call because I wanted to let you know your property on Sunset Boulevard has actually increased with regards to property value, and I wanted to give you this information that I have. I'm gonna send it over to your email. It's actually gonna show you how to exit your FHA loan because I know you don't wanna pay mortgage insurance and I got the solution for you. So it'll be inside your inbox. Make sense? Completely different tone, completely different message. I'm not blind calling, I already know what the deal is. And why that's effective is because it was just simply planned. So I put a, a little bit extra time in identifying where I'm gonna spend my time. However, on the flip side, if you plan too much, but you never do, right? Like let's say you plan and you've configured the, the right um, you know, uh, brackets of, of lead information, right? Or whatever you wanna call them, the criteria. So you got the perfect ideal list of 50 people that you got to do outbound calls to. But the problem is though, is that you plan it and then you over plan it and then you overthink it. So even though you got the right criteria, now you believe you got to have the perfect pitch. And so then you start overthinking your pitch and be like, no, I can't say that. What else can I say? And then you become so into the pitch that you're over planning, you're overthinking and therefore you're over talking. You're over, uh, how could I put it? You're doing extra on the phone. And so now you you just you, now you're just ruining it because you're not doing enough doing to where you're just over you're over planning so like you barely even make any calls because you're you're in your own head too much. And so there's that there's that unequal balance where you planned it all out but now you just got to take action on it and you can't take action on it because it's not as perfect as everything else. So maybe that's the reason why there's a an in, unequalness or an unbalanced um, proportion of, of planning and doing to those who simply either remain stagnant or just do not reach the levels that they want to reach is because the idea of being perfect, the perfectionists within us. I think a lot of us in some way are that way, especially when it comes to ourselves. We want to be perfect. We want to be accepted. We want to be the best, right? And if you don't want to be the best or you, you're thinking like, oh man, I don't care about that. I don't care about being perfect. You know, I like my flaws or whatever. Hey, that's all good and everything. But at the end of the day, in order to sell yourself, in order to sell your way to the top, you literally have to have confidence. Like that's the number one fucking key is self-confidence is your unlock. And the only way to reach self-confidence is to have the right mindset. And to have the right mindset, you need to want more than what you want right now. Because if you're content and you think that you don't need to be perfect or you don't need to be better than the way you are right now, why are you watching this motivational shit, <laughs> right? Like you should always want to be able to push yourself to be better than you were the day before or you're just going to remain stagnant while everyone around you continues climbing and continues taking action or trying to find that, that balance between planning and doing and you see them climbing, you see them becoming that, you know, that, that success story. What do you have to show for it besides, oh man, I used to dabble in that, but I didn't have no time, so I stopped. Or, oh yeah, I used to mess with that, but man, I'm, man, it's just not for me, right? It's like those stories I talked about at the very beginning in this video. You know, you, 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 at some point, you're gonna get to a time in your life where you're gonna either, either be happy with where you are or you're gonna wish things would have gone different. The sooner that you get there, though, the sooner that you could take action. Now, I hope you never have to get there at a later stage, but at some point, I hope you do get there because you're going to then acknowledge just how important your time was. And when you acknowledge how important your time was, you then start becoming very selective of what you do with your time, which is my bonus tip for you. You know, think about who you're spending time with most. Think about the common words that you hear within your circle of friends. Think about the common vibe you have within your pocket of people. So there might be people you go on smoke breaks with. There might be people you go on walks with or you go to the gym with or you go wherever, right? Like it's just where you spend your time to unwind. And I, I really want you to pay attention to the context of the messages within this circle or within this pocket of people. And if you notice that a lot of it's complaining or judging or negativity, you really have to identify how that is affecting your life. You need to really understand how important that is to how you view things. Because if you're surrounded by negativity, resentment, um, regret, uh, complaining, judging, blaming, 
then guess how you view things exactly like how you are wired by your environment we are a product of our environment and so if you knew that you were a product of your environment are you going to be a product of the negative side or are you going to be a product of the positive side because it's all up to you who you surround yourself with. Now, I'm not saying go sell out and go ditch those people. Still be true to those people. If anything, try to uplift those people. But if they don't, if they don't come up with you, when you try to give them a helping hand, say, hey, man, you know, like, we just got to stop being negative. Like, let's stop complaining, man. Let's go get this. And if they're not willing to follow you, they weren't meant to be by your side. Leave them behind and let them watch you win. Go find the circle of people that challenge you. Go find the circle of people where you are not the successful one. Go find the circle of people that are at a level where you want to be. And I guarantee that will change the course of your life. That's what changed the course of my life. And I hope to be that influence within your life. I hope to be one of the very first videos or episodes that you get in the morning in the breakfast of champions so that you could be a champion. So I appreciate your time watching this video. Please timestamp where you believe the most value came from and then share this video with someone who else needs to see it. If this is your first time watching Sales Remastered, I appreciate you. Please hit the subscribe and the bell. Also, check out the other media channels that I'm on right below. And there's a link to the free sales script that I have available. You guys got to check that out. In this market, you need some sort of leverage in your conversation go use that sales script and then go check out the other channels that i got if you want to get into a, a university you want to take a shortcut to the top you want to get just all the bare bones as fast as possible if you're new to the industry or even seasoned and you just want that crash course to just show me the right way and show me it right now like give me the motherfucking fast track give me the toll road to success I got that for you too. It's called Sales Remaster University. There's a link below this video and there's a course called The Secret Formula. It's going to teach you everything that you need to know how to be successful. And I will see you inside. Bye.